When I was scrolling through Facebook, I saw this post, Jesus in Kenya, Jesus on the street of Kenya. I looked closely, then I went to do some digging, only for me to realize is this guy who acted in the Passion of Christ that one evangelist brought to Kenya. And it was creating a lot of waves on Twitter, Facebook, name it, all the social media platforms. Hi guys, you are watching MChiki series. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. And if you are new to this channel, kindly consider subscribing. By clicking on the red subscribe button, also hit the bell icon, that way you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Actually, there was this three-day Kisera mega interdenominational crusade that took place from July 26 to 28 in Kenya. And the organizers of the crusade brought this uh, Michael Job, the character in The Passion of Christ, the guy that acted there, uh, Jesus Christ. So he was among the guest speakers during the crusade. He was there in Kenya, and then after that, they did some visitations. Uh, he went to the schools and also gave food parcels to widows. He was seen practically moving around the street of Kenya and also dancing with uh, some people. Actually, some Kenyans believe that he is Jesus Christ. They believe that Jesus Christ has come back again. <laughs> Even when I saw it, I just busted out laughing because I couldn't believe that people would be so deceived. Africans, I don't know who did this to us. Whenever if we hear about religion, our brains we just knock engine. I don't know, maybe we don't think again. We start thinking with our feet and our hands. I don't know. It's just so sad. I can't fathom that. Although on the Facebook where it's posted, the post was written, there were lots of uh, comments. People reacted also. Some people were also not comfortable about it. Some people did not believe like me. Then other people also had a different opinion. And there was this long post that I read of somebody trying to remind me of Jesus of Oyimbo. That one, I'll come to it later. But now let's jump into the comment and see what people are talking about this. So this guy said, the chief actor the host pastor and all the members of the congregation that invited him should be cursed. We have only one living Jesus Christ that died and rose up from the dead. He is now with our God, the Heavenly Father, no other human Jesus. So actually this set me thinking, people actually believe that uh, Jesus has a particular color. I don't know, but uh, do you think Jesus is white or black? Please leave your comment in the comment section below, I would like to know. And this person said, the new Jesus is just a poor man that is looking for people to deceive. I'm sure he can never come to Nigeria. Honestly, sometimes when I read some comments, I don't really know what to make out of it. Because this person that is saying he's sure that he will never come to Nigeria, why would he come to Nigeria? He's looking for his uh, feeding money. He's looking for money uh, because he's an actor. So why won't he come to Nigeria? Very soon you will see him there. Because I think he's moving around the world, spreading the gospel as well as making money for himself which is also allowed. To be honest here, Jesus Christ of Nazareth stated clearly, my coming is unknown and I'll come like a thief. And there are some signs to his coming and all hasn't completed yet. Visit your pastor or Bible for more clarification, fellows. I think he would have simply put visit your Bible for more clarification instead of uh, talking about pastors because sometimes pastors give their own interpretation different from what the Bible is actually saying. Then you have this lady who said, this can't happen in Nigeria that I come from. One carpenter go just rush one better Iroko wood with some four inches nail and hammer. When Jesus see this combination, he go take flight back to Costa Rica where he comes from. Nonsense. Who told her he's coming from Costa Rica? Oh, these people will not kill me with their comments. You people should stop fooling yourself. Which Jesus did you see? Because the one I saw last and this now do not look alike so where did you now see this one that you are using to deceive yourself and this lady said definitely the man will end up like jesus oyimbo which is deceitful act this post just reminded me of the story of jesus of oyimbo the self-acclaimed christ in lagos this happened around um between 1970s and 1980s i don't know if anybody knows about this please leave comments in the comment section below for me the guy is just an acclaimed jesus he made history in Lagos and he acquired and converted a lot of people to his church, wealth, wives, some of whom he acquired very unlawfully. But he, to my greatest surprise, people even believed him. With all these, people also believed him. That will show you how gullible people are. 
and he claimed he was the coming Christ. He drew a lot of people to himself, but he died miserably, and following his death, his ministry, family, and all that called his name were scattered and abandoned. I think at a stage, the family were fighting over his property that they eventually settled in court. His real name is Emmanuel Olufumilayo Odumosu, and the headquarters of his church is in Oyimbo, suburbs of Lagos. And the, I think the name of the, the real name of that church is Universal College of Regeneration. I think that's what he calls it. He committed a lot of atrocities under the canopy of Christianity. He had these sexual privileges over the wives of his member, in the sense that he can sleep with whoever he wants with, no matter the wife of whoever you are, in a, despite him having a lot of wives. Even with his behavior, he still has a lot of followers. He has uh, church members because he was able to acquire a lot of wealth, a lot of land in Lagos, and the land he had a uh, landed property also in the UK. So this tells you how people's brain function, how low people can be, how people don't even bother to think, to put two and two together. Even when they say that common sense, you realize that this common sense is not that common. Anyway, when the guy passed on in 1988, at age of 73, some of his members still believe that he's going to resurrect, so they're still waiting till this moment for his resurrection, for his second coming, and that is it for Jesus of Oyimbo. So the last comment I have reads, With all this imitation, Jesus, are you sure that people will not stone the real Jesus when he comes? Thinking it's another imitation. So I'm going to sign off here, but before I do that, I will let you listen to Michael Job, the actor, a while on stage during the crusade. So let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. What color do you think Jesus has? If you like this video, share with family and friends. And remember to subscribe if you've not done already. Stay healthy and safe, and I'm gonna catch you in my next video. Bye. He comes together with this interpreter, uh, Pastor Julius Mutiso. Welcome, Pastor. Welcome. God bless you. Let us appreciate Pastor Mutiso as he comes. To interpret for our preacher tonight. Thank you. Welcome. Amen. If you know Jesus loves you, wave your hand nicely. If you know God really loves you, we both give your hands nicely. If you know God has the best plan in your entire life for you, jump. Amen. Amen. I'd like to thank you so much for coming out to our final night here in Kitsigala Crusade. God has a special plan for your life tonight. God's going to meet you in a special way tonight. I believe God's going to speak into every person's life tonight. So listen to His voice. Be listening not just to my voice. But listen to the voice of God. Because He is going to show up in your life tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father. I thank you, you love us so much. Thank you for revealing your love to us. Speak into our lives. Help us to hear your voice. Help us to follow your leading. For, for you are a good father. And you give good gifts. The Bible says how much more will your heavenly father give good gifts to you. Give us a heart to want to know you more tonight. Speak into our life. Change our life. And make us to look more like you. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. The words I'm about to say to you are not just my own. Amen. Rather is the Father living in me who is doing His work. I do nothing on my own. But I speak just what the Father has taught me. So listen to the words I'm about to tell you. Blessed. Amen. Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. 
Mwana kama unataka unaweza kunifanya safi. I uh, uh, like that. Be clean. Kwasa. Be healed. Pona. Rise. Um. I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm healed. I am clean. 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 I